the third tier of government. Local governments, as perceived, are not under any other tier of government, as believed by most Nigerians. And being the first handshake of democracy to the electorate, are probably the most important tier of government available within a democracy. The success of a democracy is also based on the local government or marred by poor participation because of political illiteracy of the electorate, who of course come with their voter apathy and poor participation. Let's not forget the kidnap of local government's finances by the state governments, who with another side of their cheeks are clamoring for restructuring, restructuring while strangling the autonomy of the local government, regardless of the executive order 10 of 2020 by the president that guarantees the autonomy of these tiers, legislative and judiciary. Let's note, not less than 13% of total registered voters participate in this election across every state. And no matter how young to run or too young to be in position, according to some politicians, the local government is of course not considered worthy of the quality of representation by credible candidates. So what are the jurisdictions according to the constitution on the most undermined tier of government in democracy? Its functions are simple. So you have the collection of levies, rates, issuance of license within its boundary, the provision of basic primary education, the provision of primary health care, even though that has been kidnapped by the federal and the state at the same time, and it's also to participate, that's local government, in advising the state on economic planning. These are key to basic development, and a lot of myths exist around the local government, and here are a few. Local governments are duly elected and cannot be sacked by a governor. Anytime a governor attempts to do this, he has infringed on the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Local governments are financially handicapped from poor autonomy, especially by constituency projects from the National Assembly, meaning the National Assembly, instead of paying attention to its legislative role, directly jeopardizes the functions of the local government. Local government can also be the basis of the more agitated position, which is state police. Because of course, structure accounts from the ground up and not from the top down. So key will be LG security in the build up to state police. The general downplay of the local government has provided for poor dividends of democracy to the most populous black nation, which is Nigeria. There is more to the quagmire we are in as a country, but we have concentrated on other parts that are further from the people we can hold accountable. The local government is the guy you can hold accountable who lives just next door. Thank you. <laughs> you know, this thing, you know, I actually was ignorant of the fact, I think I learned that from you the first time, that this thing called constituency projects, which right. um, members of the National Assembly get um, fat bonuses from the federal account to deliver is actually a function of the local government. That's so, a crying shame. I mean, what, how does that, I mean, really, it's a crying shame. Because wow. you want to ask yourself, like, oh. why would someone whose duty is streamlined want to take on the responsibility of someone else? So what is the local hmm. government doing? You, you know, if, um, you know, people in the, in the legislature are now delivering constituency projects, to people in the local government. Maybe we have very poorly educated people in the local government. Because until now, my impression of, you know, when you think about local government right. representatives, mm -hmm. usually think of the people who, do I just consider them as those people who don't really have much to say or to offer? It's not even something that a lot of people think about. If I went there thinking of politics and running, mm -hmm. they don't even think about local government chairmanship. In their minds, it's something that a tokenism that somebody just gives to another person oh. in that area. Maybe right. the most popular. In the most popular area, boy, yes. <laughs> but you know, you know. Which is wrong from what you're saying. Let me give you an example. 
Um, something that was popular that happened in Lagos. Let me borrow from that. So let's look at the lucky situation. Do you know before you hold the governor accountable, you're supposed to hold the chairman of Etiosa because the bridge is in Etiosa. Correct. Wow. Yes. Mm. You know, so, there's so much there's there's so much exactly. around local, local governments. Mm. That general and, politics. And you know what's even more shocking is, okay, the federal releases its finances directly to local governments. Or states have come up with, you know, a very smart thing. And Lagos, I would be honest, actually does better than most states with regards to uh, local government autonomy. So they've formed something which they call the Ministry of uh, Intergovernmental Affairs. And then all the money for local government goes there. Then the wow. governor chooses how it goes, where it goes, wow. and how, what is done with it. Shola, would you want to say something? That's, that's, you, know, you know, it's so painful for me to see, to witness in my lifetime, the degradation of local government. Mm. Because I, I grew up at the time when the local government uh, chairman was a champion and councillors were champions. They were mm. looked at in the community as, you know, mm. let's put it in quotes, saviors. Um, the, the interesting thing that, Kune, that you said that I caught was that, you know, at the end of your summary was that, you know, it's better to go to someone who lives in the area. I'll tell you today, in Lagos State, for instance, almost all the local government chairmen don't live in the area. They live oh, the guy in the oh, was even wow. elected. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's look, we, it's, the system has been hijacked. And, and there's a reason why that has been so. Because don't forget that in the old days, the local government chairman was so powerful. So imagine being the, the local government chairman in my, my area, Koshofe, for instance, and you were the person that everybody knew. So if somebody wanted to go for governor and wanted to win in Koshofe, it had to be your friend. It had to be somebody that you had to endorse. So what the system, what they, they've done with the system is to basically wipe out the entire local government structure because the politicians at that level were very strong. Mm. And basically, create a, go a government where it only it starts from the state and then trickles down backwards, which is which really nothing. You know, right? I think that has, if that changes, Nigeria will change, I promise you. Yeah, I, I, I agree. But you know, one of the things that I think I find most shocking about local government is that they were more functional in a military regime Right. than in a democracy. Mm -hmm. So we all remember local government, LEA schools. Right. We yes. remember local hospital mm -hmm. authorities. Mm -hmm. We could remember all that. Or Algon donating cars to police. Mm -hmm. Now, the local government cannot act in a democracy where they are even supposed to function. So, mm -hmm. um, of course, uh, every dream, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. Harriet Tubman. While we continue to push for the best options for Nigeria and Nigerians, we urge you not to relent in playing your role no matter how small. The advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus tvafrica.com forward slash the advocate ng don't forget to subscribe for our youtube channel plus tv africa join us next week same time on the station and keep advocating for a better society thank you, thank you.